liftoff in T minus 30. Hit the record button. Welcome, welcome to a special episode of Italo's Black Dog Radio. This is your host, Italo, with a Italo Productions new premiere called Perseus, Perseus Journey, actually, based on Greek mythology, for those that don't know, he's the one that defeated uh, the monster Medusa. But before I do, I recommend you guys wear your earbuds, headphones, pause before you do, and then grab your popcorn, grab your coffee, and enjoy the show. I give to you Perseus Journey. Perseus Journey. I have a mantra, been saying it throughout my journey. I say, I have no fear. I have no fear. I have no fear. Even when I'm feeling down, I don't want to let my guts down. For they've given this mortal many godly gifts. Enough weaponry for an army of one. The mission that I decided upon defeat the Gorgon monster, place her head in a basket, and bring it to the king Polydectes, and save my mother in the process. I forgot to introduce myself. <clears throat> Pursues here, your humble, humble servant, on my way to the snake lair, bearing a sword and a shield as well as my heart and my sleeve. Wind sandals from Hermes, protector of travelers, who's worn these sandals to fly before me. Now, I'm flying distances, seeing beautiful landscapes, rivers and mountains, never seen by mortals before. Tempted to stay wherever I went, but never lost sight of my mission, to save my beloved mother, from marrying a tyrannical king. Sorry, but I must stay focused and pick up the pace. Athena, the goddess of wisdom, gifted me her shield, where I see my reflection. Defend me from the Gorgon monster I've yet to see or face. Her head is full of snakes. And she's got a daily stare. Medusa has turned many men, whoever dares to approach, into statues of stone. I must remain calm, remain focused on the prize, Perseus. Getting Medusa's severed head in a basket. That's what I promised the king, that bastard. I had to embark on this incredible journey because I had nothing to offer him. So I was forced to volunteer, to bring Medusa's head in the platter. Most precious gift, a weapon of sorts, I gather. Many kings send their best before, an army of trained men carrying their swords and shields, only to be petrified upon looking at Medusa turning them to stone, statues of stone, unaware. Forever they'll remain in the snake's lair. Hades, god of the underworld, also gifted me his helm of darkness. Even though I've been told not to mention his name, I've forgotten. I'll refer to him as Zeus of the underworld. Everybody has caught on. Nobody wants him to unleash his army of wrath and death 
lurking below the surface is the land of darkness and despair. Lastly, <clears throat> Zeus gave me his sword, the most generous of gods, and I'm his humblest servant, forever grateful, my lord. Nothing can stop me now. I got all the gods on my side. I know I've done something right. I grew up a fisherman like my father, who taught me good values. Until the day he died, <sighs> worst day of my life. He's given me wisdom and experience. He showed me love without conditions. I don't know what I would have done without his sound advice. Now I must prove my worth, make my father proud. I know he's watching me from the underworld, where all the souls reside. To defend my mother's honor, I must be brave by staying humble. I find it hard sometimes, I cannot handle. The pressures of being the man a mother deserves. She's not a trophy for a king to claim. I must stop that union, no matter the cost. Even if it costs me my life, mother counts on me to survive. A mother's love knows no boundaries. A mother's sacrifice has made me the man that I am. No other woman ever loved me more. If she were to die, I'd gladly die by her side. A mother's love, purest of all loves, no doubt about it. And I know she loves me. I never doubt it. I embarked on this journey, a young man, and it's taken me a long time to find the snake lair. I can't back down now, I have no fear, not even a Gorgon monster, this fear I must master. Closing in on Snake Island now, I used my winged sandals to fly swiftly and landed quietly. One must use the element of surprise, I must remain focused and calm, keep my eyes on the prize. Athena warned me, never look at Medusa in the eyes. She would drop my soul inside a statue of stone. So use the shield to catch her reflection. My heart's beating fast. How long before I claim the prize? I hear Medusa and her snakes as they hiss, her tail rattling like a rattlesnake. I'll close my eyes and raise a prayer. I'm in God's hands now. I shall have no fear.